Hey everybody, this is just a quick video of cooking some pizzas in the fish oven. So I'm just piling up some kindling in the middle of the oven floor. I'm gonna light that with a uh, propane torch. So now that the fire has started, I'm gonna slowly add extra pieces of kindling to that to kind of build up the fire. You don't want to pile too much on at once or you can snuff the fire out, but just a couple of sticks at a time until it really gets going. So now the fire is uh, moving along. I'm going to break out the lantern. It's going to get dark pretty soon. So now that that pile of kindling is really caught, I'm going to actually start to push that whole pile to the back of the oven and open up the floor of the oven for the pizza. So just kind of work that back there to the back of the oven and even add in some kindling as you do that as well, but get it all the way to the back of the oven. So now that the whole pile's pushed to the back, it's time to add some larger logs. Uh, the oven isn't really that big, but these two pieces are probably the biggest you could put in there, and it's probably enough to cook the pizzas that I'm doing tonight. Just kind of drop them in there. You can kind of see the fire coming out the top of the uh, chimney there of the oven, it's pretty neat. Check the uh, temperature of the floor there. 470, we're getting there. So now the logs have really caught fire. You can see them rolling across the uh, top of the oven. It's a neat look, some flames shooting out the top. So now the logs have uh, gotten down to coals. Let's check the floor temperature, oh, 600 degrees. Time to put in the pizza. So I got a damp rag here. I'm going to wipe off the bottom, get the uh, clean off the bottom there. It's got some ash on it. And I'm going to drop the pizza right onto the floor of the oven. It's a 12 inch pizza, uh, nothing fancy. And I'll, I'll let it cook there for a little bit and uh, start turning it. One of the issues with these pizza ovens is it has a lip in the front. So I had a little bit of a hard time getting the peel underneath the oven. Some people, they end up actually grinding off that lip. I probably won't do that. I might throw some fire brick in there to get it a raised, uh, a raised cooking surface above that lip. I struggled a little bit, but I finally got the peel over there. Give me a little bit of turn. And I jammed it into the coals there, but I was able to get it out quick enough. No harm, no foul. So every couple of minutes, I'm going to uh, turn the pizza so that every edge of the pizza uh, is exposed to the uh, wood fire. Kind of give it a little twist there. Oh, a little bit of cheese escaping there. I'll have to take care of that. So still, you know, giving it a turn every so often. Pick that cheese off, please. Oh, thank you. So now the coals have uh, died down. The last uh, thing I'm going to do is going to take the pizza and I'm going to put it, uh, raise it up into the top of the oven so that the tops of the pizza is crisp. And uh, here's the final result. I think it turned out well. Pretty tasty. Some wood-fired pizza from the oven. Thanks for watching, guys.